I like it too, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs, my name is Darius P. And welcome back to another Tekken 8 combo tutorial. We rocking with Asuka in this one, and let's get to it. We starting off with the down back, 4-3. Gonna look just like that, right? The low end to the high. Let's keep it moving. So after the down back 4-3, we going into back 2-4-3. Gonna look just like that, but your opponent will be in the air before we do that first hit. Gonna look just like that right now. You do want to wait for your opponent to fall down just a bit before you go into that back two, four, three. Let's look at that one more time. Gonna look just like that. You see how I waited for them to fall just a bit, right? Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after the back two, four, three, we going into heat by pressing your heat burst button. Now it should be R1 or RB depending on what controller you are using. If you are not sure, all you have to do is go into controller setup and go down here where it says heat burst or heat smash. As you can see, I have changed mine to L1 and my rage art is actually R1, right? Once again, no, we going into the heat burst. Gonna look just like that. Now let's go from the beginning, from that down back 4-3, all the way down to that heat burst. Absolutely beautiful. And as you guys can see over there in my inputs, I am spamming that heat burst button and you should be spamming it too so you can make sure that it comes out as soon as possible and you do not drop the combo. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Heat Burst, we want to go into the down back 1-4. Gonna look just like that, right? We can't go from Heat Burst into the down back 1-4. Because it doesn't combo, as you can see, but you can practice the inputs. But going from the back 2-4-3, that will combo, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> the combos in this game are so fun to do. Okay, now let's go all the way from the beginning. Absolutely beautiful and we're not done yet. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after the down back 1-4, we want to dash up to our opponent, right? Dash up to our opponent and then hit him with the down back 1-2, hold, hold forward, right? Whenever you see the black uh, the black directional input, that, that just means hold that button now. White means press it, black means hold it. So we're going to do 1-2, no, down back 1-2, right? Then hold forward. Gonna look, well, almost like that, but it will be a quick dash. We are doing a heat dash in this combo. Let me show you how it looks, right? You see how she dashes up like that? So fun to do. Okay, can we go? I mean, no, that actually won't combo. So we must go from the back two, four, three, all the way down to that down back one, two, Hold forward. Gonna look just like that. Remember, you must dash up before you do the down back. The down back one, two, and then hold forward. Now let's go all the way from the beginning. I mean, come on. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. Now, 
Let's keep it moving. Okay, so we're gonna end this combo off with a forward, forward one, but on that second forward, you hold it, right? Gonna look just like that. Just double tap forward, and then on the second one, just hold it. Now we can't, I mean, we can practice the inputs, right? It will look almost like that, but of course it is going to combo, but we must practice all the way from that back two, four, the back two, four, three, all the way down to that four, four, one. Just like that. Remember, too, after she does her little dash, you want to make sure she finishes that dash before you do the forward, forward one, right? Now let's do the entire combo all the way from the down back four, three, all the way down to the end at forward, forward one. But don't forget to hold the second forward. Let's do this. Ninety six damage. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, right? Let's look at that one more time. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.